Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Hope you all are doing well. As you all know that I have started a video series related to RNA sequencing data analysis. So this is the part three of that video series in which I will uh, explain that what is basically next generation sequencing. So I will uh, cover different aspects related to it. Uh, concept you are going to learn in this video is the what are flow cells, what are adapters, cluster generation and sequencing. So these four uh, concepts are very much important to understand the mechanism of sequencing. In the previous video, uh, uh, I explained the workflow of messenger RNA sequencing data analysis in which I uh, explained the experimental design or the experimental workflow. Uh, as I have told you that uh, in today's video, I will discuss that what and how, what is basically sequencing technology. And after that, in the next video, I will discuss the sequencing file that are being generated from the experiment. And then we will proceed for the data analysis. So these, this workflow is very much important in order to explain that how these files are generated and how can we process it, okay? So let's start with the video, with the tu tutorial that uh, what is basically next generation sequencing. Uh, basically, there are plenty of videos related to next generation sequencing. Uh, there are good animations that are basically uh, produced by the Illumina technology. Many other YouTube channels are also there that include animations and very much good explanation. I will also try my best to explain next generation sequencing uh, and I will show you that how the sequencing files are generated. Okay, so uh, th this is a review article related to sequencing technologies. So you can also read it. Uh, uh, it consists of very much uh, uh, high quality images and uh, high quality explanation. So you can also, if you are more interested in sequencing technology, you can just visit this paper, okay? Okay, so what basically sequencing is? Uh, uh, this is my definition that basically finding out the order of nucleotides of a gene. Uh, basically, we want to know that uh, we are having our gene of interest, but we do not know that what is the sequence and what is the order of their nucleotides that are present in that gene. So we want to just find out. So basically, uh, in my opinion, finding out the order of the nucleotides of a gene is basically the sequencing, okay? So there are three uh, uh, categories, Illumina library, Illumina flow cell, and Illumina sequencing platform. So basically I have discussed the library in the previous video, the library uh, generation. So you can uh, watch that video, okay? Uh, so now we will uh, discuss about the flow cells, what, what are basically flow cells. So flow cells are a uh, specific type of chips that are, uh, you can see in this uh, slide. And uh, on this, uh, on the surface of this chip, basically the all sequencing is being performed, okay? So just look here that uh, we, I have taken a small portion of this chip and you can see that there are small nucleotide sequencing so there are sequences on the basis of the, on the base of on the floor of this flow cell. Okay. I will discuss in a moment that what is basically these uh, nucleotide sequences and why these are present. But for, for, for here, just you uh, should remember that on the surface or on the floor of the, or on the base of the flow cell, there are millions of short nucleotide probes. We can also say probes and we can also uh, say short nucleotide um, oligonucleotides that are present that are stick to the floor of the uh, flow cell, okay? Uh, just remember this concept, then I will discuss that what are basically, why these are used, okay? Now, uh, 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 now what are basically adapters? This is very much important concept in sequencing technology that uh, you should know about adapters. So adapters are basically, uh, 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 as I have also mentioned in the previous videos that when we are generating our library, so we just bind adapters to the end of our sequences, okay? So basically adapters are short nucleotide sequencing that uh, consist of three regions, flow cell binding region, index region and primer binding region. And I have explained the points that what are basically, uh, why, uh, why are these uh, present. So flow cell binding region, as I have told you, basically these are the nucleotides and the complementary strand are, strands are present on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the adapters, okay. So this re red region of the adapters bind to the, uh, bind to the, these nucleotide sequences, these are complementary, okay. We have designed these adapters and we also know the sequences uh, of the, 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 the sequence of these nucleotide probes. Okay, so when we are performing sequences, so uh, sequencing, so our nucleotides, our sequence should be uh, should be stick to the uh, to the flow cell. Okay, so in order to stick it to the flow cell, uh, we just need adapters. Okay, so adapters have a specific region that is known as flow cell binding region, and it binds to the uh, it is complementary to the these probes. So it binds to these probes and it gets stick into that uh, uh, into the floor of the flow cells. Okay, so fusion anchors the DNA fragment to the flow cell and complementary matches the oligonucleotide 
on the flow cell surface. Okay, I have told you. Now, what is basically index region? Index region is basically a functional uh, differentiate between multiple samples. As you all know that uh, uh, we are dealing with different type of samples. For example, we are also having sample of a cancer patient and we are also having a sample of a normal human being. Okay, so uh, we extract the RNA from it. We, we just prepare the library and we want to sequence it. Okay, so flow cell can be used for both the sequences. We just have to uh, differentiate between these sequences on the basis of the index region okay so for the for different uh, samples different index region uh, are present okay so we design these index regions okay so on the basis of these index region we came to know that what basically is our sample okay which uh, our this sequence uh, where does it belong to which sample does it belong to okay so index region is basically used for this purpose and the third part and the most important is that when our um, is the primer binding region okay primer binding region is basically serve as a site for primer attachment during sequencing when we start our sequencing so there should be a region that uh, the, so that the primers get bind to it and after that the dna polymerase just start sequencing okay so there should be uh, there should be a primer okay in order to just start the uh, the sequencing okay uh, in this case the dna polymerase I, I don't think so is used but primer should be attached to it okay so without adapters sequencing cannot be performed as i have told you before that i will explain adapters in detail so this is the details about adapter okay uh, so these are short nucleotide uh, sequences or strands that are designed by the by us by the human beings just to uh, just to manage the sequencing technology okay now now when uh, after that, uh, this is a, uh, a bit explanatory slide. I want to explain it in in a, in a way like that. Just just look here. As I have told you that these are the short nucleotide strands, okay, uh, on the surface of the flow cells. Now this is our gene of interest, okay. We are, want to sequence this, okay. So this blue region is our sequence, okay. This is our sequence. We want to sequence it and we want to find the order of the nucleotide. And these green color and this uh, this green color and this uh, pink color are the adapters, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, in the previous video, I have shown you that. Uh, let me show you. In the previous video, there is uh, there was a yes. This these are the adapters. Okay. So this is our uh, gene of interest. Gene of interest, and after that, these are the adapters, and it binds to the uh, to, uh, to the nucleotide sequences, the probes that are present on the on the surface of the flow cell. Okay, just like this. Okay. So uh, coming back to our slide. Okay. So these are the these are the adapters. This is also the adapter. And it consists of these three regions. After that, uh, uh, just to increase our uh, number of sequences, okay, so we just perform a little bit PCR, okay, polymerase chain. Uh, sorry, it is not polymerase chain reaction, but it is basically known as cluster generation, okay. Here we just want to increase the sequences that are present in our sample, okay. So here, what does it happen? Uh, a sequence, uh, I can say this is our gene of interest, these are the adapters, okay. And after that, we are having complementary probes for the adapters, okay? So after that, it binds to it and uh, the DNA polymerase just, well, what does it do? When it gets binds to it, so we are having the primer region on the adapters and a new strand of DNA is uh, formed across it, okay? And after that, just look here, uh, this is our gene of interest and after that, uh, it gets bind to it and a new strand is formed, okay? And after that, now we are having two strands. First, we were having one strand, now we are having two strands. It, it's just like DNA replication, okay? No, nothing more. But here, it is binding to the, 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 the new nucleotides present on the surface of the flow cell. Now I think you came to know that why adapters are very much important. Okay, so now we are having clonal copies of both forward and reverse strand in a cluster. Okay, so just we want to generate cluster and after that uh, the seventh part is the sequencing. Okay, so this was all about the cluster uh, generation and after that now we will perform sequences or sequencing. Okay, so very much easy sequencing is nothing but just we want to check that uh, what is the, you know, the order of our nucleotides uh, of our gene of interest. So basically this region was as I have told you the, uh, the, the, this is the primer, this is the binding region, this was the binding region, this was the index and this is the primer binding region. Okay, so now the primer is bind and after that across A there is T and we are having nucleotide uh, uh, nucleotides and a specific fluorescent dyes dyes are attached to it okay so after that just when uh, there are uh, in the sample there are adenine cytosine thymine guanine okay having multiple colors okay but the uh, we should know that which nucleotide have which type of color okay so after that just when adenine th there is adenine in our gene of interest so basically we all know that it, uh, complementary thymine will bind to it so after that when thymine come uh, across it and it binds to it, it so it emits light okay and this light is just captured by the by the laser or by the scanner okay captured by scanner okay captured by scanner okay sorry uh Okay, so after that for thymine, uh, after that it, here come adenine, here come thymine, thymine, cytosine, adenine, 
and uh, guanine, adenine, guanine. Okay, so after that, uh, the scanner is scanning, and after that, uh, what what happens? It is scanning the fluorescent. So when here it comes, so yellow light will be emitted. So yellow light will be just captured by the sequence uh, by the scanner. And after that, so when it is captured by the scanner, so uh, it will simultaneously it is also generating a file. Okay, the, these are those files that that we will be processing for data analysis. So as it capture uh, yellow. So here uh, it will know that the yellow means timing. So it will just write timing. And after that, when it uh, come across adenine and it capture blue light. So after that, it will say that it is adenine. So just like this timing, timing, cytosine, adenine, guanine, adenine, guanine. Okay. So basically these, this information is just feeding into the files, the, the, the file that we will be processing for data analysis. Okay. So millions of reads are there so uh, a single file have millions of or we can say thousands of nucleotide sequences okay for example just for this one for uh, if we are having uh, for one number strand we were having this file okay for example this sequence now for the second one for the second one for example for this when we are performing sequencing so let's suppose the the structure of this is thymine guanine cytosine adenine and thymine okay so when sequencing is performed so adenine will come and bind to it and it will give lights okay so directly it will be feed into the file okay after that guanine will come uh, so across it cytosine then guanine then thymine then adenine okay so c g t a c g t a okay so the scanner is capturing the light and it knows that which light uh, is linked to the which nucleotide okay the information is feeded and it is just generating the the sequencing inside the files okay so very much simple this is basically sequencing okay just look here these are the lights okay and it is captured by the sequencer so for this so for this uh, uh a different file will be generated uh, inside a file the, it will have a sequence like this then like this then like this so after a picture is taken chemicals are added to remove and these are such type of captions you can read it okay but the basic concept of sequencing as i have told you is completely this okay just look here it's more um, explanatory slide just as i have told you the scanner is scanning it and after that different colors are being produced and these colors are being captured okay so for this region uh, so for this region correspond to a, a specific type of sequence okay so for example this is sequence number one this is sequence number two this is sequence number three this is sequence number four five six seven eight nine ten so, uh, for, uh, so uh, after that when it gives blue color so this is the blue color and after that it it will convert into green when a specific other nucleotide is generated so for each spot there is a sequence okay so remember this so for uh, i have uh, uh, someone asked you that how much uh, how much sequencing will be generated from this file okay so you can say that to uh, uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so ten lines will be generated okay so for ten lines the for example the blue color is the uh, adenine so here will be adenine okay and after that different when it captures the light so the sequence will be completed okay so this is uh, uh this these all are separate strands okay so this was uh, all about the sequencing and these such type of uh, millions of capture are being performed and after that the scanner is scanning it just look here it is so much small 10 micron and when it is converted into 20 micron so thousands and ten thousands and millions of uh, lights are being generated and files are simultaneously the information is being feeded into the uh, into the files okay so and these such type of files are being generated okay for example uh, this is uh, this is sample number one sample one sample two sample three sample four sample five and sample six okay for example these three samples are related to cancer patients these three samples are related to uh, healthy patients okay these are related to healthy patient and inside these files uh we can say thousands of thousands of uh, nucleotide uh, sequences are being are present okay that are being generated from the fluorescence lights okay so and after that we just start data analysis okay so topic for the next video is data analysis understanding the data now we have generated the data but we do not know that what is basically inside these files okay there will be nucleotide sequences but it is in arranged in a specific order it consists of qualities it consists of headers first few files okay so i will explain it in the next video that what is basically inside these files okay once you understand the files the structure of the file then we will proceed with the quality of the files okay so all the videos are linked to each other i, rec I recommend you that just start the series from the very first video 
I'm uh, I I plan such type of uh, videos in order to give complete concept my, to my viewers. Okay, so all the videos are linked to each other. Skipping one video will uh, will make you confused by watching the another video. Okay, so start from the beginning and just watch uh, the videos and understand the concepts. Okay, and you have if you still have any problems, so just comment me. I will answer you. Okay, and if you uh, are willing to email me, so you can email me. I will also answer you there in the email. Okay, so learn things. Okay, so. So this was all about the today's video if you have understand it well so just subscribe to my channel like this video and share it with your friends in order to um, make them excel in bioinformatics okay so see you in the next video thank you very much god bless you